welcome to Cards by Kate Fletcher. Today's video is a product reveal video and in the coming weeks or months I will do a product review on how I find it to use, um, so on and so forth. So the item I've bought is a guillotine. After making my very first ever mini album last week, I've actually come around to thinking that actually I do need a guillotine because I'd like to make some more. And I think it will make it a lot faster um, having a guillotine. So I did have a little look at the craft ones and I would have liked the tonic one or the crafter's companion one, but right now I can't afford them. So I've ended up with this one. This has come from eBay um, and it was supposed to be delivered yesterday. It actually came today. Um, it came via my Hermes, which if you're a regular to my channel, you will know I wasn't too happy about that, but it's here. Now, when it came, the grey courier bag it came in had something about being from China so i ordered it probably friday i think it was and it's already here so i don't think it's come from china like for this order however based on the fact it's an unbranded machine um and the fact it was only eight pound fifty I think it's probably come from China at some point and sat in a distribution centre. So I have anti-backed this just to be on the safe side. With the current situation, I'm not taking any chances. So I have fully anti-backed this and I'm happy to now um, play with it a bit. Um, so why did I buy this particular paper cutter? Well, it's an A4 guillotine. Uh, it can allegedly cut 12 sheets of 70 GSM paper. Oh, I probably won't be cutting 12 sheets at a time. However, that kind of tells me that it will probably cut the cardstock I have. Um, so that's good. Other things I liked about this, looking at the pictures on the internet, it has this grid system on it. So it will be easy to line things up to make sure I'm straight. Um, it has, let's just pull it down so you can see, it has inches at the top here and it has centimetres just there. And the centimetres actually carry on all the way down the side here and then across the bottom here. Um, the grid size does go up to A4 here, it's also B5, A5, B6, B7 and it's actually just a bit bigger over here. So it's going to do most paper sizes I want it to. The other thing I liked, I do like that it's metal, I wouldn't say it was heavy but it's a good weight for when you're using it so it's not going to go anywhere. Something else I really liked in the picture was this arm here just going to take it off so I can show you so this they call it a batten I'll put it down so you can see it's quite a good size and basically this attaches to this arm up here as you can see it moves the whole length and all you have to do is tighten this little screw while it is on here and it will hold your paper in place while you're cutting which I think is quite a good thing to have so that now isn't going anywhere you see that's not moving now what I didn't realize when I bought this was that well two things really the blade on the arm here has a safety mechanism built in so you actually i don't know if you can see this at the moment won't move it's locked into place which i think is a really good feature to have um i don't think you can really see on the video how it works but 
I'll show you in a second. Now, what I also didn't realise was it's not a blade blade. So it's not um, a blade that I believe you can sharpen. Um, and it actually reminds me of like a file that you could buy in the DIY store. So if I take this off, I should be able to show you. So to move this out of the locked position, if you see, I'm trying to lift that up. It's not coming. I can actually lift it up by that right now. To lift it, to get it out of the locked position, you kind of push it down to the side. And that is now movable. Uh, and look, it automatically, it doesn't matter where you put it, it stays where you put it. So it's not going to accidentally fall and cut your fingers off, which I really like. So let's just flip it over again. So here is where you might be able to see the safety catch. So it all goes, oh, it all goes onto that to lock into place, which is so clever. Now to show you the blade and why I'm saying it reminds me of a file. Are you able to see that? So this here is the blade. You can see I'm running my hands across it. It's not cutting me at all. But it does resemble a file like you buy in the DIY store, which I thought was quite unusual when I first started exploring it after I'd anti-bagged it. So I don't really see how that is going to go blunt. And I think I've said in a previous video, that's what put me off buying a guillotine in the first place. Because all I hear is people saying that their blades have gone blunt and they've got to buy new blades. And I just think if I buy something, I just want it to work and to keep working. I don't have to really want to buy extra bits for something. So I'm quite happy to find that this doesn't actually have a blade in it. Um, now, to play with this a little bit now, I've got some scrap paper here to show you how it cuts. So I have had a tiny, tiny little play with this because um, I was making something when it came. So I was like, oh, I can play with it now. And I did. So I'm just going to put this scrap paper on here and tighten the batten, as they call it. And now all I have to do is that. And as you can see, that's cut nicely through the um, paper. Only thing is it does give... I don't know if we can see it does leave a very slight perforation on the um paper that you probably wouldn't get from a blade but it's so small i don't think it's gonna worry me that much um now the thing i have noticed i'm just gonna take this batten on thing off a second now the thing I have noticed is that this inches line up here doesn't appear to be very accurate so this is a six by six pad okay it says right there six by six and I have used this on my scoreboard and this is six by six when I put this against the six inch marker on the guillotine, it actually overhangs by about, I don't know, one eighth of an inch, I would say. So I'm just a little bit worried that if I was to use this top ruler, my measurements would all be out. But as I say, I'm not going to do a review on this yet. I'm literally just showing you what I've bought, going through it a little bit. Um, and once I've used it 
and got used to it then I will do a proper review video I will put a link for it in the description box of this video just in case anyone is intrigued enough to buy one as I said it was only like I think it was like £8.50 so it wasn't a lot of money having said that I would what expect even for that money the measurements to be correct but maybe it's me maybe I'm just needing to get used to it or <laughs> I don't know I'll see how I go with it I guess so that is what I wanted to show you and kind of reveal my product reveal um I'm gonna go off and have a play I need to make another mini album so I'm really gonna put it through its paces with that and there will be a review video of it soon so if you're not a current subscriber please do subscribe and ring the bell and then you'll be notified when i upload videos and you'll be able to see the review video if you're a current subscriber thank you very much for watching tonight um and i hope you have found this interesting if you have liked the video please do give it a thumbs up and i'll be back soon with more videos thanks so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye for now